Hi, this is William. Welcome to Fly Spoke. And today I'm going to tie for you a fly uh, that uh, emulates uh, an early black stone fly nymph in our uh, cleaner and colder rivers. We we'll have these uh, early black stones hatching early, uh, early in the season. Um, uh, most people will see them and they'll think they're caddis because they have that same sort of tent wing configuration and they're not big stone flies they're small stone flies and they do hatch they come off the water and they're not stone flies that walk out of the water and then shed their and molt off their their uh, their skin and then are uh, uh, stone flies in that way and become adults that way these actually become adults coming out of the water and when there's activity and the stone flies start to uh, start to go through their process to uh, to adulthood. Um, they'll get active on the bottom of the river, and uh, these become a very important uh, trout food early in the season. So um, I'm going to show you how to tie the early black stone fly. So I'm starting off with uh, this is a. Uh, 3906 Mustad hook. I've taken the barb down. Um, this is the regular short shank. It's not the B version. You might think about a stonefly wanting to have the longer body. The larger ones, um, you certainly do, and you can. There are other hooks for stoneflies that give you that uh, arcing shape. But um, I don't find for this particular fly it's necessary being a, this is a size 14 and, um, you know, being the smaller version. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm simply taking some what's called super fine dubbing. This is the, uh, if I can get that in there, where is it? Here, super fine dubbing. And I'm just going to take a, little wisp, uh, almost an uh, uh, insignificant quantity, you can hardly see the quantity. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm just putting a very little dubbing ball on the back here. And what that's going to do is it's going to separate and splay out the goose biots I'm going to put in for a tail. And this is a uh, common goose biot. You just buy it in black. And uh, I'm just going to trim off two. Now they have a natural curve to them and I'm going to utilize that natural curve when I'm splaying them. You can see that they slightly curve. I'll put the far side on first and I'm going to hold that right in place just put a couple wraps and place it and then I'm going to take the second one and I'm going to make and I'll let that one splay out Place it again, and these I just want to make sure that they're the same length. You can see how they're Ving out. And then when I make a couple of wraps towards that dubbing ball, I can squeeze that right on so that I get a nice clear V to my tail. And now I'm going to trim these about a little more than halfway up the hook, basically where the body of the fly is going to be. And now I'm just going to take some very, very fine, and you can see this is uh, Universal Vice Corporation tinsel item. I think this this used to say 15 cents on it. It uh, I've had it for quite some time, I guess. So I'm just going to tie in a little bit of this tinsel in the back. Right 
there. And now I'm taking some pheasant tail that's dyed black. And this is just two barbules right here. And these were the residue from previous tying of this fly, cutting off the tips. And those two barbules I'm going to put in. And now I'm going to put turn, touching turns. covering up the goose biot and now I'm going to go back not quite to the back and forward and then back not quite as far as I just did and forward and I'm just building up a little little ramp of a body all right now my two pieces of pheasant tail and I just tie that off and we'll trim those and I'm just going to take this silver rib very very thin wire and put my silver rib that's it for that. I bend that wire back just to make sure that it's caught in there well. All right. Okay, next thing. I am going to take two more of the biots and again facing them out so they're splaying outward. I am going to simply put in one leg on one side just really short, don't need to be long. Right. As you now wrap again back, they'll splay out a little bit. And now what we have is we have two tails, two legs, the body with the rib. And now I'm just going to take off these Biots. And the next item, I'm just going to take some, uh, this is uh, ice, ice Dub in Peacock Black, which has a great iridescent look to it. And I'm using a very, very sparse quantity of this as a dubbing. And I'm just going to put a very little bit right there. And, um, and I have these laminated pieces, the laminated feathers. Okay, basically the uh, feather is inside the lamination. And I'm going to cut basically a triangle. And I'm going to lay that triangle on. Just past those legs. And I'm going to trim off the point now. And basically, I am forming a little wing casing. I'm going to double that wing casing now. I'm going to put a little more of the tiny little bit more. Of the ice dubbing. In between that.
and I'm going to cut another triangle. Now this triangle I want to go on so that you can see the first one. I'll just lift it up and you'll be able to trim it. You'll be able to trim it off nice and tight right to there. Give it a little bend like that and you have a little dubbing underneath it. Okay. And you can see the double wing casing now. And two more by it. Put on facing forward. I can I can put legs if I want, but one. Second one on. These are kind of short. You notice that I'm going to put them on so that they're pretty short. And we'll get to trim them. And I'm just going to put a whip finish. Alright, so we have our wing casings and the legs facing forward and the legs un coming out from under the wing casing. And you got the tail. A nice dub underneath. A little iridescent color. Now, it's going to take a black Sharpie. All right, it's just your standard black Sharpie. And I'm going to give a little black color to those. Not completely. Leave them a little molted looking. Don't completely dye them out. Okay. And I do like to finish the heads on these. It gives a little bit of shine, a little bit of shine to the head. Look at it, go around the fly. If you see any little hairs or stuff that you don't you don't like, fish aren't gonna mind, but you see anything that you don't like, well you just go in and you fix it. You pull these legs out a little bit. They'll close down when you're fishing it anyway. But just to pretty it up pretty up the fly a little bit. 
Okay. Early black stone. There it is.